So you just got your Nexus 7 and you're loving it. Or maybe you're getting it for Christmas or for a gift soon or maybe for your birthday. Well, if you don't know what you're missing out on, well, that's where I come in. So today I'm going to show you the tips and tricks on the Nexus 7. Today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for the Nexus 7. And first of all, we're going to start off with volume control. As you may know, the speakers on the Nexus 7 are horrible. They are not good whatsoever. And there's going to be a simple fix for that. And the app is called Volume Free. It's on the Play Market um, Play Store and it works amazingly. So let's just open up the, the app and let's go to speaker settings speaker modification, volume level, and let's make that go up to four. The EQ settings, you can go uh, control the bass enhancement. Let's get that to four. And you can do a virtual room effect. We're gonna leave that off for now, but let's see how good the speakers are. So I'm going to turn it up all the way, and let's play a song. Okay, so now we're going to turn off the app and see the difference of the setting. So let's make sure that the speaker setting is off. So let's make sure that is off and let's do the same song and see how loud that is. So not too many people know about this next tip and this is screen capture. So all you do is, so you're gonna hold down the power button and the volume down button and that will take a screenshot. So let's hold that down. And as you can see, it takes a screenshot. Now to view the screenshot, all you have to do is pull down the notification and you get the screenshot right here and you can share it uh, to wherever you want. So if you wanna share it to Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, you can do that right away. Tip number three is actually part of the home screen and this allows you to make multiple users for your tablet. As you can see uh, down here, this is the main user. If you go to the right, um, I actually set a tab called guest and this is generally for my parents or my brothers that want to use this and this is just a totally new tab. And um, as you can see, there's not many to many things on them, but uh, we're just gonna switch back to the other tab and it does it really fast. And as you can see, I'm back to my other tab. So the next tip is going to be the lag fix. And I have multiple videos on this, but if you don't know already, this is a very good tip. And you may notice it when you're scrolling through pages, this will also work for the Nexus 4. Well, when you scroll, uh, sometimes it lags, especially on the app drawer. Um, you just get that annoying lag, and there's a very easy way to fix that. You go to current, and then you want to go to the top bar where it says this little, this little three dots, and you want to go to settings, and you want to make sure that enable background sync is off. Um, that does speed up your tablet by a lot so when you scroll you will get no lag and everything will be loaded really fast as you can see there is just no lag so that helps a lot the next tip is screen rotation and a lot of people don't know about this especially people that are new to the tablet um, well you can actually do screen rotation and uh, if you didn't know I have an Jellybean 4.2 but if you scroll down on the right side, you will see that there's a screen locked. If you unlock that, you will be able to rotate your tablet so you can go in landscape mode. The next app is going to be the camera launcher for Nexus 7. And once you search that, you want to go to the first one and it says camera launcher for Nexus 7 or you can go to whatever one you want. So I'm just going to install the camera launcher. So I'm going to install that and as you may know, there is a front-facing camera for the Nexus 7. It does not come with a dedicated camera app. 
So if you download that, you will be able to use your camera for whatever reason. So let's wait until that installs. And as you can see, you get to the top right. So uh, just a quick tip, anything that you download will go on the home screen. So let's go to the camera launcher app, accept license, okay. And now you get your camera. So uh, here is the lighting of above me right now, but uh, here is the app and it's really cool. You can uh, take pictures and you can go to a panorama mode, which is pretty cool. You can also go to a 360 panorama mode, but it does not support for Nexus 7 models. The next tip is going to be for developer options. This is kind of an Easter egg and not a lot of people know about this. So we're just going to go to the right side. Um, sorry, we're gonna go to the right side and we're going to go to settings and we're gonna go all the way down to about tablet. And if you didn't know already, if you hit the Android version uh, 2.0, like five times you will go to the jelly, uh, jelly bean wallpaper but that's not what I'm here for I'm here for build number if you hit build number a something will pop up on the bottom that says you are a developer and what that allows you to do is it allows you to get developer options and as you can see right here right on the bottom that wasn't there originally so if you click that you can actually go to all developer options and there's all these options that you can um, there's all these options that you can actually do the next tip is for typing and let's just say you're on YouTube and you want to type something real fast now instead of individually clicking something uh, not a lot of people know this but you can actually just swipe and you can actually just text like that you just swipe across so I'm just going to do hello and as you can see it types hello so hopefully it helped you with the tips and tricks for the Nexus 7 if I helped you at all please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe also like this video it helps a lot so that is pretty much it for today thanks for watching and as always I'll see you next time I just want to say thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot. I also have a second channel. It's Thomas A. Messon 2. Uh, link in the description will be below. I also have a Facebook fan page, so the link will be below. So if you want to check those out, you can. And as always, thanks for watching.